Hello and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2. We are currently playing through the closing chapter and we are on Marisan's route. Back in the office and Marisan is going on a trip. We did not get to say goodbye. Haruki is a little sad. I had it all planned out. A plan that would most likely garner stunned responses such as tactless, reckless, and overly idealistic, were I to say it out loud right now. I thought that the way Mari-san is now, she might just accept this tactless idea of mine as a good display of my fighting spirit. After the couple of hours we spent with just the two of us on Friday, I thought I could bet on this possibility, but alas. それじゃ、お気をつけていってらっしゃい。ああ、それと、良いお年を。鈴木さんも何かやることありませんか。なんなら、年明けの仕事を前出ししてもらってもいいですよ。ああ、ハルキ still needs the distractions. マジ。マリさんに内緒でやってくれる? Back then, I got to tell her about my past. So this time, I wanted to tell her about my future. I wanted to let the first person that's ever understood my lingering affections for Kazusa know about the troubles that I'm burdened with right now. I thought that Marisan would surely understand me. I thought that we could think about it together. And that even if it proves to be a struggle, she would still do everything she can to find the way forward for me. I thought that she'd be able to save me. Okay, no. This is such a dangerous way of thinking. You can't be on two separate playing fields, especially if you're about to be dating someone older. Marisan is not there to fix you or save you. You know? That's that's not a good way of thinking, Haruki. That's that's really bad. Oh. I'd been in deep thought during the whole conversation without anyone noticing. What if they do, though? What if every time Haruki spaces out and has these eternal monologues, everyone's just like, Hello? And I was finally brought back to reality by an envelope handed to me by Matsuoka. Brought back to reality would be an understatement. It turned my mind blank with shock for a moment. Wow, way to put Haruki in a bad mental state right after Marisan is gone. She's a world class Japanese born in Japan, and after she changed her main site of activity to Europe, she had not come back to her home country even once for years on end. ちょっと、何これ。しかもプレミア席。超プラチナチケットじゃん。ま、コーナークラシックファンにとってはな。でも、その席ならオークションに出しても高い値がつくぞ、多分。I mean, that's actually a good idea. I didn't think of that. He could sell it. Toma. I mean, what do you expect for a New Year's concert? When else is it gonna be? おみそかに年越しライブやるアーティストいるだろう。なんでもあれに対抗してるんだと。情報としては聞いてたけど、こうしてチケットが目の前にあるとなんか急に行きたくなってくるよね。Just <laughs> give it to Suzuki-san. 聞いた話だと。
It's not just her raw ability. Her youthful vitality and her wild demeanor are both contributors to her unfading popularity here in Japan. Toretta's only one. If you're gonna thank someone, you should probably send two so they can at least bring a friend. Kazusa's mother. But of course, she knows what she's doing by only sending one. ねえねえ、これ私がもらっちゃダメかな。今のところお見せかはなんの約束もないし。ちょっと待て。お前クラシックなんかに興味あったか実はすっごいタイムリーなんですよ。この前の北原くんの記事、マリさんに無理やり読
but right now I can't hear a word of that vibrant chatter. I can't seem to stop that tiny, laughably meaningless bit of worry from slowly making its way deeper and deeper into my heart. And time skip, we're at New Year's Eve. Mm. Mm. I wonder whose fault that is. じゃあ、年が明けたら、そっちもな。2日からバイト入れてある。だから、さすがに明日はゆっくり寝てたいし。お前。働きすぎじゃね。こんなことできるのも大学が休みの時くらいだしな。来月末は試験だし。今のうちに詰めてあるんだよ。Oh man. Also, how is she having this conversation at work? Did he just whip out his cell phone while he's working? Mm. Shouldn't be lying. Like, oh, it just drives me crazy at times like this. You should be opening up to your friend. You don't need to place every single one of your worries on this new girl and hope she fixes you. ほら、見ろ。共通認識じゃないか。映画は楽しかったし、食事はうまかった。楽しかったよ。お膳立てサンキューな。食事の後は竹谷。とりあえず今もバイト中だから切るな。今日中にあげなくちゃならない資料が残
want to talk about this with someone who doesn't know about the two of us. Someone who can look at our situation from an objective standpoint. And at the same time, I want it to be someone who's caring, passionate, and someone who's willing to give it their all and break their back for my sake. And while I know this is really unfair and bordering the line of escapism, bordering the line, this is blatant escapism. If at all possible, I'd like for it to be someone who's just the tiniest bit biased towards me. But for the next little while, there won't be anybody like that around. So all I can do right now is tough it out on my own. For one more week, at the very least. I'm so glad that the editing department's still open on New Year's Eve. The number of people who are still coming in, even after finishing their year-end work, has certainly gone down. But it's not zero. Which is why I, too, am able to keep myself busy today. Up until yesterday, I've been running around the other departments and managed to get my hands on quite a number of miscellaneous tasks. Just like Mari-san. They all vary wildly in their deadlines, workload, and content. There's enough for a few days of work after the New Year's, too. I made sure I had enough to last until Mari-san gets back. No matter where I went, even if I've never properly interacted with them before, their reply would always be a quick, Oh, he's with Kazaoka, and they'd give me as much work as I wanted. The fact that Mari-san's name is so revered throughout the company makes me feel a little proud as well. I'm sure that none of them have any clue that I'm doing this out of my own volition. They're unaware Mari-san isn't backing me up at all. That's exactly why I can't betray their trust. I have to do my utmost to ensure that everything is done on time, carefully, and accurately. Are... Graf-san? That's so funny. Graf guy? <laughs> okay, I don't know why he said tiring day today, isn't it? He said otsukaresamadesu, which is like something you say to co-workers. You greet co-workers when you see them for the first time that day. Glancing over at the clock, I notice that it's only 8.30. Normally you'd be hard pressed to find anyone leaving this early, but it's understandable that there'd be hardly anyone willing to stay this late on both today and tomorrow. <laughs> That's not a funny joke. I definitely have a ridiculous amount of things to do, but I already finished everything that needed to get done today. So it's just like he says. If it's New Year's Eve, then spending the night at home probably won't be any more lonely than spending it here. <laughs> I was about to pick myself up, but a single piece of paper that was left on the side of my desk caught my eye. If I recall correctly, printed on that piece of paper is the name Toma Yoko. It's currently 8.30. It's been 30 minutes since the start of the concert, so I'm still in the just a little bit late category. The concert's held at Anjuku Art and Culture Hall, only a few minutes from here on foot right on the path towards the station. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. A live concert by a world-class pianist, a premium seat. It also happens to be a special invitation that's a result of the recognition that I'd gained through my first real assignment. But if I were to come face to face with Tomoyoko herself and her performance, I'm sure it'd end up making me recall some of my past memories, even if I don't want to. Having succeeded her bloodline and talents, I'm sure that I'd see someone playing on her own stage on the opposite side of the world, much like her mother, 
And much like her, she'd also grab the attention of her audience in a single sweep. No. What I'd be seeing again is memories pertaining to a certain someone. Could it be that Toma Yoko still remembers me? Even if she forgot, if I pushed my way to the waiting rooms and told them I was the one who wrote that article, I might get a chance to meet her. And she might remember the moment she recognizes me. And would she tell her daughter about me if that were to happen? Is that what you want to happen, Haruki? That's the bigger question. It's another link between me and Kazusa. A potential path that may lead to meeting with Kazusa again. Forget it. Having betrayed Setsuna, I have no business getting involved with anything pertaining to the surname of Toma. I mean, good for him for sticking for to his guns in that sense. Oh, the life of a busy woman. Busy, busy woman. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. What? You're on vacation! Enjoy it! <laughs> They're so funny. I love them. It got too hard to stay in there with the security officer staring me down the whole time, so I made my way out of the building about 10 minutes ago. And before I realized it, I found myself in front of the Anjuku Art and Culture Hall. Guests came pouring out of the hall and down the stairs, and a massive wave of people suddenly appears before my very eyes. In any case, it appears that the concert just ended. Looking at the clock on my phone, I see that it's 23.59 right now, or 11.59. Seems like the New Year's concert was just a little short of the New Year. Swallowed up by the wave of people heading down the station, towards the station, my hastened pace slows down. The people coming out of the hall have their faces flush with excitement as they talk about how amazing the concert was. The crowd's excitement floods my surroundings as it drowns out the sound of the temple bell meant for the first night of the New Year bringing me the slightest bit of discomfort. It must have been an absolutely amazing concert, and I feel the slightest bit of regret for missing out on it. I mean, that's fair, because any concert is like a fun, cool thing to do, but the fact of the connotations behind who's playing, I could understand his decision as well. As I was drifting through the bustling sea of people around me, It was at that very moment that the new year had arrived. 
And so, in my heart, a quiet voice let out a brief, Happy New Year. To everyone who's taken care of me this past year. To everyone who I'll still be in the care of this year. To my precious friends. To that reliable person that's been supporting me. To the person who supported me without asking for it. To the person who'd support me even if I didn't want it. To that important person whom I've been giving nothing but heartache despite being so close to one another. To that important person whom I haven't seen for so many years and am unlikely to ever see again. Dang, that's really beautifully written, actually. Oh, we know that voice. くやしいけど、まだまだ勝てそうにない。それじゃあ、私先にホテルに帰るけど、そっちは。え隣の席そうよ。あんたの左側。誰かいなかったそういえば、最初から最後まで空席だったの。誰か知り合いでもいたのまあね。さすがに来てくれなかったか。最初の旦那、2番目の旦那。それとも私の父親。似たようなものかもね。よしてよ。私今更そんな相手に会ってもどんな顔したらいいのかわかんないよ。Well, she remembers him, that's for sure. So close to each other. Nani Tirunokuni. Nija, Anta Momo Hatachi Koderundashi. Musimeto Nomino, you made up on your name. Here they eat some on the Riona Kigasurkedo. Nihon Dekano, the Julio Nanio. The Kaku Kikokster in the Kara, go, Ochoshi de Atskanto Kata. Toshiori Ksaino Piano Annani Rambunakseni. もしかして用事でもある誰か会いたい人でもいるカズさあんたさこの国に私の居場所はないんだよああ、that's、that's oh, oh, 大成功だったじゃない。祝杯よ、祝杯。よし。今日は寝かせないからね。そうだね。おめでとう。それと今年もよろしくね、母さん。うん。じゃ、ホテルでね。挨拶済ませたらすぐに行くから。わかった。じ
Oh, they're so cute in casual clothes. It looks weird. I gotta like adjust to it for a minute. They're so adorable. All right. And before we delve into these two <laughs> bird brain friends, I love them though. We're gonna stop for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of White Album 2, Marisan's Root. And I'll see you with more content in the future. Until then, take care.